Cameron for Tweaktown, um, back for another video. We're here at the Gigabyte headquarters in Taipei. Uh, what you're looking at here is a G1 Assassin 2 motherboard. Uh, you've seen it before. It's based on the uh, Intel X79 chipset. Uh, it comes bundled with this um, card here, which is um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, over here, you can see a, a live demo of the, of the same motherboard. Um, so the story here is not really about the motherboard because you've seen, you know, you've seen pictures before. What we did want to focus on was um, Gigabyte 3D Power, all new digital engine. Uh, this is one of the software products that uh, Gigabyte will be including with the X79 series of motherboards. Um, 3D, so right, you've got voltage, phase and frequency. Um, this is all made possible because this motherboard, the G1 Assassin 2, and, and the other boards use a um, all digital CPU and memory power system. So they're actually controllers uh, on the board that give you the ability to control and really fine tune down to a really extreme detail that we haven't seen on motherboards before. So if I go to um, frequency here, and um, what we have here, CD, CPU um, PWM. VT, uh, VTT, IMC, and then uh, memory over here. So if I go to CPU, um, you can fine tune um, the frequency of the PWM. So you can go down to 200, um, this is in 50 megahertz increments, all the way up to 2500, 2.5K. Um, so basically, what the lower, the lower it is, um, the more stable um, the system will be because basically that PWM is, is running at a lower temperature um, but the higher you go um, the more you know the more overclocking ability you, you'll get but because it's running at a much higher temperature um, stability you know might be a bit of a concern so I guess if you're going for like a really high high overclock um, I don't know if you'd go as high as 2500 we haven't actually played, played with this maybe I don't know, around, around this mark, 1500, um, but then maybe in normal operation, um, you would take it back down to the default, which I guess here is 500 kilohertz. Um, and then we, I mean, there's other options here as well, so we click on main, it takes us back. Uh, voltage. Um, turbo voltage response, load line calibration, over voltage protection. Um, so basically this, will protect you know your system from going over and you know causing damage uh, the one okay turbo voltage response different options here as well um, now if we go to the phase options um, CPU overcurrent uh, protection and um, PWM thermal protection this is actually the one I wanted to show you um, this basically, because you have all these different options, um, and you you know you might get yourself into trouble um, with the temperatures rising too much, you can actually set um, the range here um, for you know for the thermal protection. So if one of these controllers or the PWM goes over a certain temperature, it will automatically start to back down um, to to stay within the temperatures you have specified here for you know CPU and 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 memory. So yeah, this has been a look at um, Gigabyte 3D Power. It's um, going to be part of the Gigabyte G1 Assassin 2 and some of the other some of the other um, Gigabyte X79 motherboards uh, that you can see here.